This is better. Nah, man, this is better. What is up, my friends? Welcome back to your average gents. It's your boy, Evan. A t-shirt is a foundation to each and everyone's wardrobe, man or woman. Everyone wears a t-shirt because it is simple, comfortable, and you can find it everywhere. There are two styles of t-shirts, the crew neck and the v-neck. Now, there are many, many debates on which one is better, but in today's video, I want to put an end to all these debates and answer the question, which one is more superior once and for all. First of all, let's talk about the crew neck. The crew neck is the more common style on t-shirts. This is the most classic t-shirt style that is ever created. It is clean, it is simple, and it doesn't attract any attention. When you are wearing a crew neck, nobody will be like, Ah, you're wearing a crew neck. A crew neck just fits everybody, right? You just cannot go wrong with a crew neck. There's really nothing more you can say about the crew neck. It is simple, it is classic, and it works for everybody. All right, now let's talk about the V-neck. You might have heard of this myth that suggests that a V-neck will somehow make you more muscular or more lean. I get that logic, right? It is more desirable for us men to have that V taper look for our upper body. And the V neck is supposed to make you look more tapered for your upper body. And this will in turn make you more muscular or more lean. But in my opinion, if you have a very big meat section, I don't think that just by wearing a V neck will make that much difference. I mean, the V is just around your neck area. It is so small that it is basically negligible. You are better off wearing a shirt instead, which is more structured that will build up your shoulders a little bit as well. Or you can wear a normal t-shirt and throw on a blazer and this will give you more structure to build up your chest and give you a more prominent V. This does a much better job to give you a wider chest and a narrower waist. V-neck on its own, I don't know, it just looks a little bit weird. It draws too much attention to your neck area. Unless you are super muscular and you have a humongous chest, it might look good on you but then again you will look a little douchey because it's like you are trying to show off your chest a little too much especially with the super deep v-neck t-shirts gosh never and even if you're super muscular you still look better with the crew neck the only times when a v-neck is appropriate is when you are wearing it as an undershirt. For undershirts, it's great! It will just disappear when you are wearing your dress shirt. The v-neck also looks fantastic when you are wearing it as an outer layer over your shirt, kind of like a sweater. This combination, not gonna lie, is the bomb! So my recommendation, v-neck is only suitable when you are wearing it as an undershirt or when you're wearing it as an outer layer on top of your shirt. And if you're just gonna wear this alone, then stick to the classic crew neck. You will never go wrong. And that is basically it for today's video. If you found this video informative, please help your boy out and smash that thumbs up button. Really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified immediately when I drop a dope video like this. Once again, my name is Evan, you're watching Your Average Gent and I'll see each and every single one of you in the next video. Bam!